Hello, welcome to India EDU tutorials once again. Today we are going to start a new topic that is arithmetic progression. An arithmetic progression in that series or sequence where the difference between two numbers of that series is common. For example, we are having this series says 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now here the difference between any two numbers say 2 and 4 is 2 here. Between 4 and 6 again the difference is 2. 6 and 8 difference is 2. And between 8 and 10 again the difference is 2. So here as the difference is same between all the numbers. So this is known as arithmetic progression. Now second part is if same quantity is being added or subtracted from all the numbers of AP the resultant series will be an AP and common difference will remain same. For example, we are having this series which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and if we add 1 in all the numbers which give us 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Now here this series is also an AP and the common difference is same. You can see the difference between 5 and 3 is 2, difference between 7 and 5 is again 2, 9 and 7 2 and 11 and 9 the difference is 2. So our difference remains same. Now, third part. If same quantity is multiplied or divided from all terms of AP, the resultant will be an AP but the common difference will change. We will take this example only 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If we multiply this series by 2, it will give us 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. Here you can see the common difference has changed. Now our new common difference is 4 over here. That is 8 minus 4, 4. 12 minus 8, 4. 16 and 12 again 4. 20 minus 16 is 4. Whereas in this series the difference was 2. Thus the common difference changes if we multiply or divide the number. And in case of addition or subtraction of any digit, common difference remains the same. Now let's understand some examples. Before moving to examples, let me first tell you the formula which I use to solve arithmetic progression. The formula to find any nth term is represented by Tn, where n represents the term that we are going to find. For example, if we want to find T5 or fifth term, then we will write T5 over here. And formula to calculate this is a plus n minus 1 into d. Here, a represents the first term n represents total terms in that progression or series, d represents the common difference. Either you can use this formula or this formula to find the nth term. If last term is given then you can use l minus n minus 1 into d. Here l represents the last term. If you need to find out the mean of any arithmetic progression then the formula to calculate mean is a plus b by 2. Here a and b represents corresponding terms. For example, if we are having the series say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here corresponding terms would be 2 and 10 because this is first term and this is fifth term. Or we can say 4 and 8 are corresponding term. This is second term and this is fourth term. The sum of these terms should be same. That is first and fifth term makes 6. Similarly, 2 and fourth term makes 6. So these terms which make the common answer are known as corresponding terms. If you need to find out the sum of AP, the formula to calculate this is n by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here the values represent the same that is n represents total number of terms, a first term, again n is the total number of terms, d is the common difference. Or you can use another formula which is n divided by 2 into first term plus last term. Now, if you get a question where you need to assume even numbers, that is where you need to assume 4 terms, 6 terms, 20 terms, which are even in number, then the numbers which you can assume in the series is a minus 3d, a minus t, a plus t or a plus 3d. Similarly, if there is a question where you need to assume odd number of terms, then you can assume the series as a minus d, a or A plus T. Now let's understand these with examples. Let's understand AP with some examples. Our first example is find 
35th term of the series which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Our series over here is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The first step which we need to do is to find out whether this is an AP or not. How we will find this? By common difference which is D over here. It should be same between different terms that is 2 minus 1 is 1 here. 3 minus 2 is again 1 and 4 minus 3 is again 1. This means this is an AP. Now D is 1 over here. A is 1 which represents the first term. We need to find out 35th term that is T35. Formula for finding any term is A plus N minus 1 into T. Here A is equal to 1 plus N is 35 because we need to find out 35th term. So 35 minus 1 into D. D is also 1 over here. It becomes 1 plus 34 into 1 which gives us 1 plus 34 equal to 35 as the answer. Next question. Next question is find sum of following series. Now, their series is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Again, we need to check whether this is an AP or not. 3 minus 1 gives us 2. 5 minus 3 is also 2. This proves this is an AP. So here D is 2, which is the common difference. A is equal to first term 1. And we need to find out the sum. So formula for sum is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here we can see n is equal to 5 because there are 5 terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to find s5 which is 5 by 2 into 2 into a. a is 1 over here which gives us 2 into 1 plus n is 5 that is 5 minus 1 into 2 which gives us 5 divided by 2 into 2 plus 4 into 2 is 8, which is 5 by 2 into 10, 2 into 5 is 10, and 5 into 5 gives us 25 as the answer. In the second part, we also need to find out the mean of the above three. Now for calculating mean, what we do is we add any two corresponding numbers and divide it by 2. So we can take 1 and 9 as they are corresponding numbers over here. And divided by 2 gives us 1 plus 9. Divided by 2 gives us 10 by 2 equals to 5 as the answer. I hope you have understood the basic concept of AP. For more complex examples, we would come back with new class. Thank you.